Grace Community Church, my name is Katie Arms, and this is Rob Seals, and we both work with InterVarsity Christian Fellowship right here in the Triad of North Carolina. InterVarsity works towards seeing students and faculty transformed, campuses renewed, and world changers developed. There are over 100,000 college students, faculty, and staff at 20 different colleges and universities in the Triad. We want to see all 20 colleges have witnessing communities established by the year 2030. By developing student leaders to lead small group communities centered around God's word and prayer, we believe we will continue to see amazing transformations in the lives of students. As we work to see our vision become a reality here in the Triad, we would love for you to pray for three specific schools. University of North Carolina School of the Arts, Forsyth Tech, and Guilford Technical Community College. Currently, we have connections at each of these schools, and we would love to see these connections take shape into communities that are inviting others to know Jesus. We want to thank you, Grace Community Church, for your continued support over the years. We are grateful to be Faith Promise Partners. Hello, Grace Community Church. This is Bob and Carolyn Jacobson, uh, speaking to you from Ireland, sunny Ireland. It just snowed last night and this morning. But um, our ministry is in Uganda, East Africa, and we're not there right now because of COVID, uh, vaccines, and uh, elections uh, in Uganda. So we're hoping to get back soon, but I'll let Carolyn explain to you what we do there. Well, we have a few legs on our ministry. We have uh, the Ginger Pregnancy Care Center, which is an outreach to uh, teenage moms and moms at risk. We also have the Mailbox Club, which is an outreach to school kids in school between the ages of 7 to 14. We also partner with Child Evangel Evangelism Fellowship. Um, Bob also has microfinance. He does loans for kids who are orphans and don't have a chance of getting a loan or starting a business or uh, getting anywhere financially. So he works hand in hand with the young adults that have uh, left Good Shepherd's Fold Orphanage. So our, our ministry is still going strong. Our staff are on the ground. We're running things from home. We hope to get back to Uganda very soon. Thank you. Our biggest prayer need right now is for our staff uh, on the ground that they uh, uh, continue to, to do a good job. They've been doing a great job. But also to stay safe uh, with the election, post-election violence, and uh, COVID. So we appreciate your prayers. Thank you for your support. God bless. Bye-bye. God bless. Hello, friends at Grace Community Church. I'm Josh Mullins. I'm the head of school at Hope Academy. Uh, for those of you who don't know Hope Academy, it's right here in Greensboro, just down the street from Grace. So if you have not had the opportunity to come over here and visit us, uh, this is an open invitation for you to do so. Come see us anytime. Uh, we are a private, Christ-centered school for grades 3 through 8. Uh, we work with students that uh, otherwise wouldn't have uh, opportunity to get a uh, Christ-centered, high-quality education. So um, we are currently serving 85 students. We, uh, we are proud to report that we uh, have been, for the most part, able to have in-person classes safely uh, this school year at, at such a time when, when that has been so critical. Um, you can continue to pray for us as we go throughout, as we're, we're about halfway through the school year right now. So um, pray for the other half of the school year that as we continue forward, people would remain safe, um, that students would be encouraged uh, despite having to wear masks and uh, wipe down things all day and those sorts of things. So uh, you can be uh, in prayer for us during that time, be in prayer for our eighth graders as they uh, are applying for high schools and, and going through that process. So thanks for all that you do for us, Grace, and um, we're happy to have your partnership. Take care.
Hi, Grace family. I'm Bobby Booz. This is my wife, Debbie, and we serve with Novo Mission. Some of you may remember our old name, CRM. Our mission and vision and passion simply is to multiply movements of the gospel and multiply the church for mission all around the world. We served with Novo for about 22 years in Budapest, Hungary. Um, we missed that home. And uh, now we're back in Greensboro and attending Grace. And we serve on the global leadership team for Novo, and we actually oversee about 140 staff around the world. Um, and our particular division, Ethne, is focused on reaching um, every nation with the good news of Jesus. As you pray for us, um, we would just ask you to pray for continued wisdom for us as we lead these staff, particularly in light of the pandemic. It's been a really hard and jarring year for our staff all over the world, and many of them have been in severe lockdowns, and much of their normal ministry has been put on hold by the restrictions. At the same time, we want to praise God because um, we're really proud of these staff. Um, they've pivoted during the crisis and they found really creative uh, ways to reach the people in their areas. And um, we believe that God is still working and moving to bring people that are far from him closer. So please pray for us as we lead them and, and keep all of them in your hearts as well. And thank you for all the ways that you supported us so well over these many years, both financially and your prayers and encouragement. Thank you. Hi, we're the buyers. I'm Dave. Rachel. I'm Sophia. I'm Levi. I'm Nella. Uh, we serve here with Great Europe Mission in Cologne, Germany. We've been here for 14 years, and um, my ministry is uh, through making and teaching pottery low in local classes and building discipleship relationships and also doing music uh, with youth and other worship venues. Um, my ministry is twofold. Um, I build relationships with men and women who are prostituted out of one of the biggest brothels here in Cologne. And I also work with anti-sex trafficking efforts and helping raise awareness. Um, I'm also a dancer and so I work with professional dancers in creating um, dances to raise awareness um, and inspire change in others. Yeah, so our biggest prayer request would be uh, homeschooling right now uh, in German. It's been, um, uh, well, let's just face it, it's really sucked. It's been so hard to teach uh, all, the, all the subjects for um, our kids as non-German speakers. Uh, so we would really appreciate some prayer for our family, just to practice love, kindness, and patience to each other as we uh, work through lockdown, as so many uh, others are. So thank you, Grace Community, so much for your support. Bye. 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 Hello, Grace Community Church. My name is Dana Carr, and I serve with In Faith, which is a U.S.-based missions agency right here in Greensboro, North Carolina, in the Glenwood neighborhood. Grace Community sits right on the edge of Glenwood and truly wouldn't be in ministry here if it wasn't for the ministry of Grace Community Church for so many years. Um, a lot of my formative young, all of my formative young adult years were spent at Grace learning what it looks like to love the community well and to be a faithful presence. And so it's my great joy and honor to be here full time serving neighbors the best way that we can, whether that's through community programming, working with kids and families, um, and just loving people in the midst of, of various crises and celebrations that come up in life. Would love for you to be praying this year that we would have discernment about how the Lord would have us best serve in 2021. Uh, there are always opportunities ahead of us, and and yeah, we just want to hear the Lord well about the best direction to go that's sustainable and that will make a deep impact. And so we're sensing that there may be some change coming um, in a good way, and so would love for you to join us in praying for that. Thank you so much, love you very much, and hope to see you around the neighborhood sometime soon. Hi, Grace Community Church. I'm Abby. I'm Leah. I'm Hannah. I'm Kelly. And I'm David. And we're the Doros. Okay, girls, what's our mission field and where are we serving? Our mission field is the Chinese students and visiting scholars. In Greensboro, North Carolina, and on the campuses UNCG in North Carolina A&T. And what does our ministry do? We work with an organization called China Outreach Ministries, and we focus on evangelism and discipleship of the Chinese students and scholars um, with the hopes that they will take the gospel back to China, so to share with their, um, their family and their friends there. 
Um, and we do this through a number of different ways. We focus on relationship building, we meet practical needs like shopping for cars, or we do Bible studies, we do um, you know group gatherings and day trips, and just any way that we can meet their needs and build those relationships and pour Christ into them and pour uh, our love into them, and then they can take Christ back to China to share with people there. And what are some of our prayer needs? Um, obviously, like with a lot of other people right now, uh, our main prayer needs um, are uh, are pertaining to the pandemic. So uh, COVID has had a great impact on our students, um, travel-wise, those who are trying to get to China, or come back to China, logistically, just trying to find meeting places, um, and then the tensions that they felt from people just because they're Chinese during this time. So um, thank you for praying for us and supporting us, and we love you guys, and we're so grateful for you. Hello, I'm Phil Anderson a longtime Greensboro resident and the founding director of Journey Resources. My wife Lucy and I have been Grace Covenanters nearly since the church began. Journey Resources is a ministry of spiritual formation. What's that, you might ask? Well, spiritual formation is the process of being formed in the image of Jesus for the sake of others. Sadly, we've come to a place when we can be a Christian forever without becoming a disciple or an apprentice of Jesus. My work is done in a wide range of settings, both locally and beyond. Whether I'm sitting one-on-one -on -one with an individual who's seeking spiritual direction, or speaking at a conference, directing a retreat, teaching, or writing, my aim is always the same, to help people become more deeply formed by Jesus into the person they were designed by God to be. I am grateful for the indescribable privilege it is to do this work and for the support of Grace, my home church. Hello, I'm John Willett, and I'm so grateful to be here at Grace and part of the missionary family at Grace. I'm here in Greensboro, part of local ministries. Um, I'm with a national ministry called Search. And I would say it's a young life for adults because I know most at Grace are familiar with young life. And that means Search is a ministry to adults primarily uh, of discipleship, evangelism. Personally, my ministry is here in High Point and Greensboro both. I do Bible studies, try to do them in safe places where people can bring their non-believing friends and find a safe place, as I just said, to uh, push through their questions, bump into the Bible, have a chance to, without any pressure, without having to join anything or give anything, can take their next step in God's direction. So again, I do about five Bible studies here in Greensboro and High Point, and then I always have my radars going for the haven't herds and try to sit down with them one-on-one, -on -one, small groups, and just give them a chance, which I feel is important for everybody, to have a safe place to push through their faith. So I've been with Search for 30 years having pastored for 20 years, and I absolutely love helping people connect the dots, come to Christ, and get started. And I'm so thrilled that Matt Burkett, member here at uh, Grace with his uh, wife Leah, they're now new additions to search here with me in Greensboro. And unfortunately, COVID hit just a few months after Matt joined us with Search, so uh, he is uh, still on an on-ramp, but an awesome addition. So I'm very grateful to be part of the missionary family here at Grace. Linda and I, again, have been in Greensboro for about 37 years and love the community and love to help people put their faith together. Hey, everyone. My name is Bradley Gwynn. I am the program coordinator here at Greater Piedmont Adult and Teen Challenge. We are a seven month long discipleship program for guys that have life controlling issues or addictions. And our mission is simple, is to introduce hope 
and healing to individuals uh, with life controlling problems or addictions through a personal loving relationship with Jesus Christ so that they can become successful members of society. We're a seven month program where guys ages 18 to 70 come in. We take them through a series of classes. We, we really just rip back the layers and um, help them find their true identity that is only found in Christ. We fill that void that they'd been filling with drugs or other other things in life, and we fill that void with uh, the love and the grace and the mercy of Jesus. One of our biggest prayer needs right now that you can join with us with is just uh, for guys to come into the program with everything going on in society, that a lot of depression and drug addiction is skyrocketing right now. And so just join us in prayer that the Lord leads us, uh, leads the right people into our program. And then just also for just financial help uh, as we continue to reach uh, people uh, that have these issues in our own community. Thank you and God bless. Hey everybody, my name is Greg Jalzinski from 12th Rock Ministries in Middletown, New York. My brother Mike, Mark and I run a sports ministry here in the Hudson Valley. And uh, I just wanna thank uh, Grace Community Church for their support of our ministry over the last few years. Um, what we do on a normal year is uh, we run year-round sports programming for youth uh, ages kindergarten through 12th grade. And even during this past year, uh, we were running programs for college and master's level athletes as well. Um, some things that we could really use prayer for this year um, would be just direction, uh, that we would go where God wants us to go and that he would uh, allow us to continue to have an opportunity to share the gospel with people and uh, kids uh, through sports. Uh, we also are in the process of building an indoor sports facility here in the Hudson Valley. So we would also appreciate prayers for uh, the resources to complete that here in 2021. Again, thank you for all your support of our ministry. And uh, um, we will continue to pray for your ministry down in Greensboro. Candace Haven is a Christ-centered addiction recovery program for women. The heart of this ministry is to see lives transformed by the power of Christ. We don't focus so much on the addiction, but instead we focus on God's power to heal their heart, to transform their minds, and to make them whole. We get phone calls every single day, and as you may know, it's hard to not have room for a woman that is in need of God's transformation and healing. We are in the home that God originally provided for us in 2006, and we have six beds, but we're currently serving nine women. We also have a transition house, and the purpose of this transition house is to help women um, get reacclimated to the community and to learn how to just do life in a healthy way. We help them to find jobs, we help them to pay off their debt, we help them to get connected to a church and find a mentor. On August 14, 2020, we broke ground. We're grateful for Faith Promise. We're grateful that you guys continue to pray for us and that you would pray that God would continue to provide for us so that we can get this house finished, so that we can be able to serve so many more women. My name is Paul Wamsley. I'm volunteer president and board chairman of Christ for the Island World. My wife Judy and I are covenanters here at Grace. The village of Kimalapia had no known Christians until we provided a pastor and clean water. Now 90 people come to church every Sunday morning. In a predominantly Muslim area of Indonesia, Abir and Johanna have started 25 churches that are self-supporting. These are just two examples of what the Lord is doing through Christ for the Ellen world, and we give the Lord the glory for all of that. We currently support 15 evangelists and 24 pastors in remote villages. At last report, we had 12 living water projects in progress. What are living water projects? 
The Lord has provided our Indonesian partners with the expertise to provide clean water to remote villages by pumping water over long distances and by purification methods. In so doing, life in these villages has drastically changed. Disease is down, education is up, and the crops are a potential source of income. To be true to our purpose, we tie the provision of clean water with the availability of living water as described in John chapter four. Living water projects continue to produce thriving groups of new believers. Please pray for good health for our workers in Indonesia and for their families because most of them do not have easy access to medical service. Thank you and God bless you. New Year's greetings in Christ to you, my brothers and sisters at Grace Community from Johnny Wilson with Novo in Vancouver, BC, Canada. And so a good bit of my time is spent providing care and listening, praying uh, for people here in my low-income housing building. I also had the privilege of praying with two others within our building uh, five days a week where we pray for the world, for covid and for individuals in our building, part of a Wednesday night Zoom Bible study where we study the scriptures and take communion together, part of a 12-week men's accountability group where we share our hearts and encourage and challenge one another, part of a prayer and accountability group of two men in our building where we hold each other accountable and pray and seek to ask the Spirit how God might use us in this building. Um, I would say the prayer request for me is that I would be a conduit of the love and wisdom and passion of Christ for people all around me. You can also pray for my family. I uh, have the privilege of being with Amy and her family here in Vancouver and uh, in constant contact with Brian and his son in North Carolina and Ashley and her family there. So grateful for you and your heart and prayers for me. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year to you all. This is Luca Bongo from uh, Sushanguve in South Africa. Um, just a short introduction about our family. My wife Petunia, as well as our three kids, live in the township of Sushanguve, outside of the city of Pretoria in South Africa. Um, last year, we, we, spent it, we spent it outside of this context. We were on a sabbatical, and actually our plans were to be able to spend close to two months with you. But as you can guess, with COVID-19, we're not able to do so. Um, our focus here since we've moved here in, um, in 2008 has been on uh, discipleship and the raising of local leaders. And I uh, would like to continue doing that. Uh, and this is also our prayer request that we will continue to, to disciple our neighbors and even raise local leaders that will multiply in the midst of the uncertainties of this pandemic and that we'll be able to get you know, innovative and creative in, usual, in using virtual means in order to continue doing what God has called us to do. May God bless you for being part of, for being our family and for being the people that you are doing God's mission. My name is James Spade. I'm executive director of Malachi House 2. Malachi House 2 is a nine-month faith-based mentoring program for men with life-controlling issues, such as drugs and alcohol. While here, the men obtain sustained recovery, character building, and vocational skill training. We ask that you continue to pray for God's covering of the program as well as for the men. I say that because back in May, Six students, three staff, myself and my wife, got COVID-19, but by the grace of God, we are well today. We're also praying for continued streams of revenue to come into the program so that we can continue to give the men the tools that they need to recover and be the men that God has called them to be. Thank you. Hey there, uh, my name is Chad McGee. And I'm Christy. And we work with Stable Resources, a nonprofit we founded five years ago. Um, and we both have uh, somewhat parallel ministries that run under Stable Resources. Uh, I'm a licensed counselor here in North Carolina. Uh, I work with folks local in our community as well as missionaries who are located throughout the world. 
And I have a women's ministry here locally, and I work with women who are exploited and trafficked and controlled in the commercial sex industry. Um, and that's as far as I'll go with details. Um, as far as prayer requests go, we would love for you to pray for our friends, or excuse me, my friends in the industry, that the Lord would continue to get their attention and that they would continue to respond favorably to him. And I'd ask you to pray for many of the clients that I work with, the missionaries who are um, normally located around the world. Many of them were displaced about a year ago due to COVID, and they are still not back in the countries that they've been uh, assigned to work in and, and that are their homes. Many of them have not been home in over a year. Um, we'd ask you to pray for them. Thank you so much. And we love being part of the Grace Missions family. Um, thank you for partnering with us. Hey, my name is Petey Fabian, and this is uh, the Greensboro Young Life staff. We're an outreach ministry here uh, in Greensboro, and our mission uh, is to introduce adolescents to Jesus Christ and help them grow in their faith. We are currently sending 25 volunteer leaders into eight ministry opportunities here in Greensboro, six high schools, college ministry, and also a ministry to kids with special needs. Young Life's approach is this, that we build bridges of friendship to an often lost and broken world of adolescents and walk across those bridges with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We just wanted to say thank you so much for praying for us. The biggest thing that we would love prayer for is for some new volunteer leaders, so adults who love Jesus, who are committed to sharing him with adolescents, and who are ready to jump on board our team. So we'd love if you could pray for us in that way. We're so grateful for you. Thank you for supporting Greensboro. Hi, I'm Melissa Harder, and this is my husband, Gene. We've been serving in southern Germany since 2013. We work for an organization called Greater Europe Mission, whose objective is to see God's kingdom grow throughout Europe. Melissa and I lead a group called GEM Teams, made up of 14 missionaries. And this team is seeking to help develop ministries throughout Europe by coming alongside them with short-term teams. We also work with a German pastor who is seeking to find ways to reach his community outside of the church walls. And finally, we also work with refugees. Melissa works with women and children, and I do a bicycle repair ministry at one of the local refugee centers. All of these things can't be done without the help of others. And so you can come alongside us in prayer. Uh, one of the prayers that we have is for our team. Just as we're getting into developing some other areas of our ministry, since we can't lead short-term teams right now, we'd love some prayer of, of just the ability to focus and maintain some momentum through this. And also, since we came back from the U.S. last year, things have been a lot different here and really has kind of affected us. So please pray for us uh, spiritually, mentally, and physically. We miss you all. Thank you, Grace Community Church. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Grace Community Church. On behalf of my family, the Zinchucks, we just want to say thank you for standing with us through all these years, the distinct privilege of overseeing two different missionary um, locations, one in Richmond, Virginia, and the second is in Virginia Beach. We send missionaries from all over the world uh, with a whole desire and passion to inspire and equip people to make Jesus known in their lives. Obviously, some of you might know uh, the situations that we've had with the health of our son, Isaac. Uh, he is doing so much better. He was diagnosed with epilepsy, and it has been a wild ride, but the Lord is healing him. He's getting better and better. Regarding the mission, uh, we have a team of young missionaries in Puerto Rico right now. We have another team traveling throughout the United States in New York, Boston, uh, Detroit, St. Louis, Houston, and they will be back in Richmond in just a, um, about a month from now. We're gonna be training uh, 12 worship leaders in Richmond beginning uh, on March 5th. And we have an English school as well where we disciple students um, in-house. We are completely committed to our Live Learn environment. Thank you. Goodbye.